Hi everyone, this is Emily Leapart here for Tailored Expressions, and in today's video I'm sharing three cards using ingredients from the Best Mix Ever card making kit. I grew up using cassette tapes and later CDs to record music for myself and friends, so this kit brings back so many great memories. I also love the retro style of this kit, including the fonts and colors. Let's have a look at all of the kit ingredients. As always, everything comes in a reusable pouch. The mixed tape dies are the star of the show and while there are many pieces, they're super easy to assemble as I'll show you. Next up is the best mix ever stamp set and the coordinating dies are an add-on. If you love having your large sentiments cut out around the letters, you'll want to add this to your cart. I was so giddy to see the mini strips mixed tape. In my opinion, this takes the kit from amazing to incredible. The mini strips are meant to be used as labels for the cassette tapes, but of course you can use them separately or as secondary sentiments for the big sentiments from Best Mix Ever. No kit is complete without a fantastic background stamp, and the Mix Master background is no exception. The bits and pieces black rhinestones are also an add-on. As always, there are six envelope labels in both the cassette styles and six envelopes to each in Dried Fig, Plum Punch, and Tropical Punch. Additional envelopes and seals are available in the Tailored Expressions web store. Let's get started on my cards. I start by separating my dies with a wire snip. I've also die cut all the pieces for my six cassette tapes and pre-assembled four of them. I left one each of the two designs to show you exactly how the pieces come together. To make it easy, I've followed the exact color theme of the envelope seals. The background piece with the two embossed circles was cut from candy corn cardstock and I used this for all six of the tapes. If you look at it up close, you will see two dry embossed circles on it, which will help you place the circles from one of the designs, as well as the hubs for the tape reels. For those of you who are familiar with cassette tapes, do you remember using pencils to manually wind up your tapes? <laughs> Keep in mind that the circles are not in the center of the piece, but should be positioned closer to the top of the cassette. For the first design, I'm going to use the thin strips which were cut from Tropical Punch, Dried Fig, Lollipop, and Plum Punch cardstock. In order to get perfect alignment, I used the Dry Fig strip, which will be the second line, but I need this color to be lined up with the very top of those two embossed circles. I used my Barely Art liquid glue since the nozzle is so nice and precise for these smaller parts. After placing that first strip, I can then add the other colors next to it and get everything lined up perfectly. Then I add the raised tropical punch piece onto the frame of the tape. I simply line up the four openings, then I glue the frame onto the base piece. Finally, I will glue the window and hubs piece to the reels and attach that to the base, using those embossed circles as guides. Now the first design is done, and I can show you how to assemble the second design. When I made the first two samples of this second design, I assembled it in the wrong order and had to use an X-Acto knife to slice open the frame so I could add the largest ring. Now that I'm aware of my mistake, I can show you the proper order to assemble these parts. Always start with the base and use those embossed circles as a guide, either for the strips or the circles. For this design, start with the center solid circle in dried fig and build outward. The colors of the circles are plum punch, tropical punch, and lollipop. Next, the raised dried fig piece is attached to the tropical punch frame and assembled on the base. I have to tell you though, these were my last bits of tropical punch cardstock and I was panicking since this color has been out of stock for some time and I wasn't able to order a refill. Luckily, I had just enough. I also used the small embellishment dies with gold glitter cardstock, so I'll be using the different shapes on all three of my cards. To prepare the background for one of my cards, I'm going to use the Mix Master background on a toffee card base. I'm so happy that Tailored Expressions is now carrying the Versafine Clear Nocturne Pigment Ink. It's so bold yet crisp, which is exactly what I want for my background. I ink it up a couple times to get a perfect inking and set it aside to dry. For another card, I'm going to use two of the diagonal stitch rectangle stacklets to create a textured frame on a sugar cube card base. Now I'm going to stamp all the big sentiments from Best Mix Ever, both on sugar cube cardstock and toffee cardstock. Again, I'm using the Versafine Clear Nocturne Pigment Ink. 
I really love the coordinating dies for this sentiment set because I love the way they cut around each of the letters and even in the spaces between the words. They look amazing when die cut. If you want these dies, remember to add them to your cart as they're not automatically included in the kit. Next, I will stamp the mini strips mixtape in Nocturne on Sugar Cube cardstock and cut them all at once using the mini strips die. This is the basic die with the sharp corners, so they look exactly like the labels that used to come with the cassette tapes. Now it's time to assemble my cards. The first one has the stamped Mixmaster background on a toffee card base. I'm going to use the darker cassette tapes on this one, with a coordinating sentiment cut from toffee cardstock. I want the elements to pop more against the background, so I die cut shadows from sugar cube cardstock and attach those to the backs of each element, and then all of the elements to the card base. To finish, I add several gold glitter lightning rods and my card is done. For my second card, I'm using the mini strips mix tape to add labels to the cassette tapes. And I'm choosing two that work for an anniversary card since this card won't feature one of the big sentiments. The labels would do all the talking here. I use one quarter inch double sided tape to attach the strips to the tapes. Then I use liquid glue to attach the tapes to the card base. Finally, I use glue dots to attach gold glitter hearts and now my second card is done. My third and final card design features one tape in each design as these were the leftovers. This time I'm going to switch up the design just a bit and feature both a large sentiment and a secondary sentiment from Best Mix Ever. I place all of the pieces on the card base inside the teal misty so I can gauge the position of the secondary sentiment before stamping it directly onto the card base. I use a piece of scrap acetate to do a test beforehand to make sure that it's perfectly straight. After making a slight change, I'm ready to assemble this card. When assembling the three layers of the sentiment and shadows, I use liquid glue between cardstock layers and use 1 8 inch double sided tape against the glitter cardstock. finish, I assembled the card with a couple of gold music notes, and now my third card is done. I'm not sure if you noticed, but I got some black ink or dirt in the liquid glue and smudged it at the top of the card, so I waited for it to dry, then used a sand eraser to remove as much of it as possible. Here's a review of all three of my cards. These retro colors really pop on the busy background, and I love the sparkly little thunderbolts inside the O's of the sentiment. I love that this card could be given to anyone for any occasion. I'll probably give this second card to my husband for our anniversary. When we met, we were in a long distance relationship, so we burned CDs for each other, but it may as well have been mixed tapes since they mean just as much to us. The last card is a fun party mix birthday card, so you can see that this kit is perfect for many occasions. I'd love to hear your best memories of making mixed tapes in the comments below, and I look forward to seeing what you create with the Best Mix Ever card making kit. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed for more inspiration. You can find all of these products in the Tailored Expressions web store at tailoredexpressions.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again soon.